Hey guys, Ambience here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to be Thursday on FNAF 6. This guide will be assuming that you're going for the completion ending, which I consider to be the standard ending. As such, I won't be talking about how to farm cash or obtain any alternate endings. The daytime phase isn't important at all here, so just go ahead and start up the night. Once the night begins, turn on the silent ventilation, turn off the fan, and start an advertising task. While you're doing this, turn to face one of the vents. At this point, you'll be listening for one of two things, something moving in the vents, or a short clicking sound. The former indicates that an animatronic is currently in one of the vents, while the latter means that the current task has finished and you can shut off the terminal. Good headphones are also very important here. When an animatronic enters the vents, you'll need to be able to immediately recognize which vent they're in. Staring at a vent will completely eliminate the possibility of anything in that vent entering the office. Therefore, the sooner you can look at an animatronic in the vent, the better. It should be easy enough to tell where an animatronic is while you're looking at the terminal. You'll hear noises in the left ear if they're on the left, and vice versa. Most of the time, however, you'll already be looking at a vent. In this case, the same still applies, but you'll hear the noise in both ears if the animatronic is in the vent that you're currently looking at. Sometimes, you might hear an animatronic start to talk. This isn't the exact same as vent noises, but it does indicate that they're starting to get close. This is usually a good time to either turn off everything and stare at a vent, or briefly check the motion detector. As it turns out, this is the one time that Bolton Freddy being his usual obnoxious self can be a good thing. It's also worth mentioning that at this point you should have purchased all three upgrades from the equipment section of the terminal. If you completed the first few salvages, you should have enough money by this point. These upgrades will help tremendously as they make your tasks go by faster and quieter. With the strategy I'm about to talk about, you have a very good chance of surviving the night. However, there is one thing that can go wrong. Occasionally, at least one animatronic will enter each vent at the same time. In this case, you obviously can't look at both vents at the same time, so you'll have to settle for the next best thing. Turn off the terminal and fan and pick a vent to look at. Stare at that vent for about 4 seconds, then turn to the other one. Keep going back and forth until both animatronics completely leave the vent. There is a slight chance of dying no matter what you do here, but as long as you balance checking both vents, the chance will be quite low. Basically, you'll just be following this simple strategy throughout the night. After finishing a task, shut off the terminal and listen for noises in the vents. If you hear any, turn to that side and use your flashlight to tell the animatronic to go away using Morse code. Animatronics don't understand Morse code, but they don't like bright lights, so it'll work. Once you haven't heard banging in the vents for 8 seconds, turn the terminal, fan, and silent ventilation back on. Check the motion detector for a second if you want, but be sure to go back to the silent ventilation afterwards. Start up another task, rinse and repeat. Be sure to listen out for noises and events even while doing a task. If you hear an animatronic in the opposite vent, don't be afraid to turn to the other side or even shut off the terminal mid-task. If you hear animatronics in both vents, you'll want to turn everything off as fast as possible. You can always do the task later. As long as you follow this strategy, with a bit of patience, you should be able to finish the night and log off. After logging off, you'll begin the final salvage in FNAF 6. This time around, you'll be salvaging Lefty. This salvage works pretty similarly to the first three, but you'll get paid a whopping $5,000 to complete the salvage. This won't do you much good while trying to get the completion ending, but it can help out a ton if you plan on going for any achievements, or if you're trying to get a different ending, which I'll make guides on at a later time. Just like the first three salvages, this one consists of five audio prompts. After each audio prompt, you'll have to flip the checklist up and down to proceed to the next one. Be sure to wait until after Henry completely finishes talking before doing this, or it won't count. After flipping a checklist back down, Lefty may have changed positions, indicating his aggression. Lefty has three positions. Here's what he looks like in Stage 1. Here's what he looks like in Stage 2. And finally, here's what he looks like in Stage 3 when he is about to attack. To be able to tell what stage Lefty is in easily, you should be looking at the star on his chest. 
when only the right point of the star isn't covered by shadows, he's in stage 3. When Lefty reaches stage 3, you should go ahead and shock him. Be sure not to shock him more than 3 times however, or the salvage value will be decreased. Like the other animatronics, Lefty also has a secondary attack trigger. When you hear a mechanical whirring noise, you should shock him as soon as possible. It's pretty quiet, so you might want to pause the tape every 10 to 15 seconds to listen for it. I was only able to capture it for a few seconds, but here's what it sounds like. Well, that's all for now. Follow this strategy and you have a good chance of beating Knight 4 and successfully salvaging Lefty. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or to join my community Discord server. By joining the Discord server, you can get personalized tips on any FNAF game from myself, True Player, Chez, and a bunch of other FNAF experts and content creators. It's a great community and I highly recommend joining. Once again, thanks to my friends Acro and Hyper for helping out with this guide. Acro helped out a ton with the script while Hyper made the thumbnail. Both of their channels are linked in the description as well as on the cards, so go check them out and subscribe because the process of making these guides is sped up a lot by their help. Finally, in case you guys didn't see my community post from a few days ago, NXCast is officially back for Season 2. It's a podcast that I created along with my friends Tom, Matt, and Hive, and it's been a blast to record so far. On the latest episode, we talked about a lot of things to do with YouTube and gaming in general, so if you need something to listen to this weekend and feel like taking a short break from FNAF, you can find the first episode on the NXCast channel, which is linked in the description and cards right now. Go check it out, and I'll see you over there. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this guide, I hope it helped you, and I'll see you in the next one.